Prasastapada Sanskrit, Prasastapada was an ancient Indian philosopher. He wrote the Padar the Dharma Sangraha collection of properties of matter and a commentary, titled Prasastapada Bhasya, on the Vaisheshika Sutras of Kannada circa 6th century BCE. .Both texts are comprehensive books in physics covering a range from general physics to quantum physics. In these texts Prashastapada discusses the properties of motion. Ganganath Jha had translated Prasastapada Bhasya which translation was published in 1916. Prashasta or Prasasta Sanskrit, Prasasta means praised or praiseworthy, lauded or laudable, commended or commendable or eulogized. Dayananda Saraswati writes that the sutras of Kannada and Padar the Dharmasangraha of Prasastapada do not show much influence of the Nyaya system. Prasastapada Bhasya is actually not a commentary but an independent compendium of the tenets of the Vaisheshika school. Udayanacharya of the Navyanyaya school, the author of Lakshanavali which gives the definitions of Vaisesika terms, and Nyaya Kusumanjali which is a systematic account of Nyaya theism, who also belonged to Mathila, had written Kiranavali which is a commentary on Prasastapada Bhasya. Prasastapada can be tentatively dated to the second half of the 6th century CE. The Vaisesika philosophy recognizes 24 gunas or qualities that are inherent in substances, these include 17 gunas listed by Kannada and 7 gunas, gurudva heaviness, dravatva fluidity, sneha vicidity, dharma merit, adharma demerit, shabda sound, and samskara faculty added by prasastapada. Vyomavati of Vyomashakara, Nyayakandali of Sridhara, Kiranavali of Udayana, and Lilavati of Srivasta are well known commentaries on his works. Prasastapada refers to a type of perception that is the simple intuition of the proper form of an entity, which is the apprehension of an indifferentiated whole arising from cognition of its specific universals. This is the preliminary stage. He differs from Dignaga for whom the determinates of cognitions are subjective constructs imposed upon the given, and constructive cognition is not a perception. Prasastapada, who was a realist, avers that the determinates are objective constituents of reality and their conceptual co relates are not intersubjective fictions. Prasastapada by redefining substance as per se a possessor of attributes opened new turf by separating the cosmological from the logical dimensions of concepts. His commentary overshadowed the Vaisheshika Sutras and became the main vehicle for later commentaries. Prasastapada describes the dissolution of the earth, water, air and fire in terms of their atomic constituents but excludes space because space is non-atomic. With regard to the conjoining and disjoining of atoms he includes a higher will or order as the guiding principle of universal dissolution which overrides the natural karma of atoms. Kannada does not directly refer to Ishvara God, but Prasastapada sees Ishvara as the cause of the universe but does not explain how God creates. <laughs> 